plans for a nuclear reactor in South Gloucestershire are back on track. Japanese company Hitachi have signed a deal that will allow the UK to start building a nuclear reactor in Oldbury in South Gloucestershire. The controversial scheme had been in doubt when the previous owners pulled out. The Japanese company Hitachi has signed a deal to start building a nuclear reactor in Oldbury in South Gloucestershire. The controversial scheme had been in doubt when the previous owners pulled out. Anti-nuclear groups have condemned the move, but Hitachi says it could create 6,000 construction jobs and a further 1,000 permanent positions after that. The reactor could feed electricity into the national grid in about 10 years' time. Here's Bob Constantine. There's been a nuclear power station here at Oldbury since the 60s. Now it seems there'll be another one for decades to come. The Japanese engineering firm Hitachi today announced it was buying the company that owns adjacent land plus another site in Wales which have already been earmarked for new reactors. Today's announcement furthers uh, our investment links in the UK with the start of what is likely to be an approximately £20 billion investment programme in the United UK's energy infrastructure. Of course, this is great news for the local economies at Wilfa uh, on Anglesey and Oldbury in Gloucestershire. Up to 6,000 jobs at each site during the construction phase and a further 1,000 permanent jobs at each site once they are operational. The current Oldbury station was switched off in February. Just a month later, Horizon, the Gloucester-based company behind the new scheme, was put up for sale by its German owners. They blamed the cancellation of other nuclear plants in Germany and Japan following the Fukushima explosion. So it's ironic it's a Japanese firm that's now taking over. When Horizon's German owners pulled out of nuclear power earlier this year, it looked as though they would take plans for a new reactor here with them. Hitachi's arrival means the project is now back on track, though it'll be the mid-2020s at the earliest before power is once again generated here. But despite the prospect of extra jobs, the plans have been opposed locally because they involve giant cooling towers on the banks of the Severn. Environmental groups also claim the design has not been approved in this country and the electricity will need a government-backed deal on price. Uh, nuclear power is unsafe, it's unnecessary and it's immoral because it leaves nuclear waste for future generations to deal with. We don't yet have a solution for dealing with nuclear waste. We have tons and tons of it. It's completely immoral to create more. But the government, anxious to ensure a range of local and low carbon energy sources, will be relieved that a buyer has been found willing to invest in nuclear. Bob Constantine and Oldbury for the West Country tonight. An atomic future for the seven. The Japanese company Hitachi is to build a replacement nuclear power plant at Oldbury. Thousands of new jobs have been promised for South Gloucestershire with the announcement that Oldbury Power Station is being bought in a multi-million pound deal. The Japanese firm Hitachi wants to push ahead with plans to build two or three nuclear power reactors at the site near Bristol. Andrew Plant has this report. It's 45 years, almost to the day, since Oldbury came to life. But with the push of a button, the turbines finally stopped this year. No contamination. Today, then, news of a new future. Japan's Hitachi company, with a promise, they said, of a 100-year commitment to the UK. And I think it's fantastic news that Hitachi have decided that they want to invest uh, in the UK nuclear industry. That's a huge boost uh, for the UK economy, and it's a huge vote of confidence. Many have lived with Oldbury dominating the landscape for almost 50 years and believe the New Deal means new life for the local economy. Any jobs must be welcome, yeah. I mean, the state of the economy is in at the moment. And, you know, we've got to look for energy. And it's not going to come anywhere else at the moment apart from nuclear. There's going to be one there. It's going to be there for another 100 years even if they don't build one there. So, uh, you know, build another unit there is not really a problem, I can't see. Hitachi say building a new nuclear power station here would mean 6,000 construction jobs and then when the plant is finished another 1,000 full-time highly skilled positions and they say they could be generating power back into the national grid in about 10 years time. Nuclear power also has widespread well-organized opposition who feel the new deal is a step backward. 
there are huge risks in terms of major accidents as we saw at Fukushima and uh, nuclear power has a really poor record in this country of cost overruns and time overruns and when and how much it's going to cost to, to build this thing remains to be seen. German energy giants E.ON and RWE N-Power are pulling out of the UK nuclear industry. The company they've sold for 700 million is Horizon, which holds the right to build new reactors here and on Anglesey in Wales. A boost for the local and national economies, a real blow for nuclear power's many opponents. Andrew Plant, BBC Points West at Albury Power Station.